Severe weather shifting east as we head toward our Friday. Take a look at where we have the warmth. 80s in Houston, near 80 in New Orleans, 76 in Jacksonville. Once you get north of Interstate 20, temperatures on the warm side, certainly around 70 degrees, but the true warmth closer to the Gulf Coast, right along Interstate 20 here. Moisture, that's another thing we look for for severe weather. What I'm looking for is that darker green shading. Watch that come northward. Where? Right around Interstate 20 from Jackson toward Montgomery and in toward Atlanta. But certainly where we have the warmth, where we have the humidity, mostly near the Gulf Coast. And then we're going to bring energy into the equation. Where is it right now? Our upper level low across the southwest states. That's going to come eastward. You see how quickly things are moving this afternoon from southwest to northeast across Texas? That says that you have a lot of wind in the, in the atmosphere, a lot of energy. This whole area shifts east tomorrow, intersecting the warmth and humidity. Thunderstorms start going off tomorrow afternoon. There they go. First early tomorrow afternoon, watch Louisiana and southern Mississippi. These thunderstorms may have the ability to produce some isolated tornadoes. The severe weather continues. Uh, Mississippi and then into uh, Alabama as we head toward the afternoon. And the, the scary thing about this is that the severe weather threat will continue well past sunset tomorrow night, even into the wee hours of the morning. Be careful across central and southern Alabama and in the southern Georgia as well. The sum risk means isolated or spotty severe weather. The medium risk means the severe thunderstorms are more numerous. I'm worried about all forms of severe weather, especially within that orange, where I do think we're going to see a few, if not several, tornadoes on the ground. The severe weather shifts east with all forms of severe weather possible on Saturday.